Now, Darren and Hannah will be the first to admit that when they initially saw their bungalow in East Sussex, they didn't even want to buy it. But needing more space for a grown family, they realised it had potential. Starting life as a typical two-bedroom home, ugly extensions and a poorly thought-out dormer conversion hadn't changed things for the better. With a close eye on their £45,000 budget, architect Carl Turner devised an innovative scheme that could be done in stages as funds allowed. But Darren and Hannah were minded to press ahead with the whole lot, and then a whole lot more. Now the couple said they wanted something to reflect their personality, something very different from the rest of the estate. In fact, they wanted their house to be unrecognisable. Let's see if they got their wish. The bungalow has been totally transformed. No longer just one of the crowd, the inventive use of unconventional materials has given it a fresh identity inside and out. Now that is absolutely brilliant. What is it with architects and the colour black? Good morning. Hello. Come on out, how are you? So yes, nice to see you. you. You look very glam. So do you, mate? Yeah, I thought I'd make an effort for you. It looks fantastic. Come on, let's go and have a look. I have to say, the front just couldn't look any more different, could it? No. No. What do the neighbours think? We've had mixed reviews. Some absolutely love it, some loathe it. You know what, whenever you do something that's so radically different, though, it's always going to be controversial. I think Carl's done amazing with uh, Corten getting that contrast, and especially with uh, the trellis, definitely transforming the, the front of the house. Now, you did talk about privacy, but you've made the windows bigger. Obviously, we're planning on living in the back of the house, so once you've seen the full house, then hopefully you'll understand why the windows are bigger and what we've done. Well, also, you put a massive cow in the way of that window. I think it blends in really well. No one else has got a cow on the street. <laughs> <laughs> so, and they're all stopping to have a look anyway. With the cow there, at least it sort of gives it a purpose, doesn't it? Like, stop, look at the cow. I love that. Yeah. No one else has got a cow on the street. <laughs> Shall we go inside and have a look? Yeah. Go on, you lead the way. Previously, the back of the property was divided into a dining room and the master bedroom. Now, by taking down walls and building a full width extension, a much more family friendly kitchen, diner, and living room has been created. Now, oh, that is fantastic. Look at all the plywood. Do you like it? I love it. I'm so used to architects cladding the outside of buildings, but you guys have gone for it on the inside. Yeah, Carl's design is incredible, really is. What a wonderful social space for you guys to be in. And I love the kitchen. We took a while to choose the right one. Yeah, we wanted to make sure it was childproof. No, like, sticky fingers over it. But we're glad with this one, aren't we? Yeah. I have to say, that skylight is a genius move. It really is. To squeeze in a couple of skylights over the top of where you're going to cook and stand at the sink and get natural light right in the centre of the plan is a winning move. And then the extension is... Well, what a massive difference. Yeah. Controversially, <laughs> it was costing you more money. Yes. Was it worth it? Yeah, I think so. It took a lot of convincing to try and persuade everyone that the extension was a good idea. But I do think now, especially with the, the house and the space that we created, it was the right idea to do it. And it gives you that back of house yeah. space and area that you really wanted as a family, didn't it? Yeah. The extension was nearly the breaking of this project and helped push it over its original £45,000 budget. So perhaps I shouldn't be too surprised by some of the ways Darren found to save money. Where did that cladding come from? A friend of mine is off his shed roof. That wasn't part of the original design? No, it wasn't. Uh, the core 10 was obviously the original design, but I think I saved myself about £3,000 and it's already rusty. 